This election in Arizona, there are three constitutional amendments voters will get to decide on. Prop 125, 126, and 127. Each one has a different and varied effect on the state, but all share a common path to how they've reached voters this year. The journey from idea to ballot proposition to amendment in the state constitution is an interesting one and might be less difficult than some might imagine. So what goes into changing the Arizona Constitution? Arizona held its first constitutional convention in 1910, when the state was still a territory. The first draft of what would become the state's constitution was signed by the delegates at the convention on December 9, 1910. It was originally vetoed by President William Howard Taft, who objected to a provision that allowed voters to recall judges. After another constitutional convention, President Taft approved Arizona statehood in February 1912. Nine months later, Arizona voters approved amending the state constitution for the first time and added back the provision on recalling judges. Arizona's constitution has been amended an additional 151 times since. 1980 wins for the most constitutional amendments on the ballot in one year, with 17 on the ballot and 13 of them passing. But how does an amendment end up on the ballot? There are three methods. A petition by voters in the state can get an amendment referred to the ballot, but it needs to be signed by 15% of the total number of votes cast for governor in the most recent election. For example, if 1 million people voted for governor last election, you need 150,000 signatures. In 2014, there were 1,506,416 votes for governor. That means all three constitutional amendments on this year's ballot had to get signatures from at least 225,963 Arizona voters. The second way is for the state legislature to refer a constitutional amendment to the ballot, which only requires a simple majority vote in both chambers. Lastly, a constitutional convention may be called by a statewide vote and cannot be called into effect by the legislature. Any proposed changes at the convention would still have to go to the ballot. Now say an amendment goes to the ballot and voters and politicians end up regretting their decision. Well, there are a few remedies. If it's found to be in conflict with the U.S. Constitution, the federal courts are likely to step in. Voters can also get signatures to create another amendment or to amend the amendment. The legislature can use its authority to do the same. Constitutional amendments are a way for Arizona to stay on top of our changing democracy and are a way for residents to change how its government operates. They'll likely continue to be a major part of every Arizona election. I'm Jerry McDonald Evoy with the Arizona Mirror, and if you want to learn more about Arizona elections, make sure to like and follow the Arizona Mirror.